Really, uh, really proud of our guys' effort. Uh, that was that was a tough one, um, but I'm really proud of the effort that our guys guys made. Um, thought the whole game we were going to win, but that one's tough to swallow because uh, you know I felt like that we uh, we were the better team and we just didn't we didn't make the plays we needed to. Um, but I'm really really proud of our effort. I challenged our guys uh, to step up, especially on the defensive line. I thought those guys did that. Um, you know, I just um, we had our opportunities and we didn't we didn't get it done. But that was a, that was a tough one. That was a really really tough one because I really thought we um, the whole time I thought we were going to win. So questions. Coach, it seems like you had a lot of opportunities um, uh, down in their red zone, especially um, when they uh, on that one play where they were off sides and you still opted to go for the field goal. Any thoughts on that? Yeah, strategy? it's not going to take points off the board. You know, at that time, I mean, we were moving the football. Um, just not, you know, it was still would have been fourth and three. And um, that was just, to me, a no-brainer. You can't take points off the board. You know, I mean, you know, we, we uh, right before half, I mean, you know, we got a takeaway right there. We needed to get points there. Um, I mean, uh, man, there was just one series that we we made a critical error and let the tight end run free, and then we're looking at the jumbotron or something and don't get lined up. I mean, um, so we spotted them seven points defensively on that one, and that's that's you know I made a bad call there on that one that caused us to have a critical error, and so that was just that that was just the kind of game it was is that you you know. Uh, I told our players I made two calls on defense that that I uh, wish I had back. Uh, but uh, man, I'm proud of the effort of our guys. Our guys battled. I love how we battled in all three phases. Um, I'm talking about together. Uh, um, you know, I thought tonight would tell a lot about what kind of football team we have. And uh, you know, I thought we really, I thought we, I thought we responded. I mean, we we were we we competed. Uh, we just had just had a ton of missed opportunities. Obviously, we're you know four of eighteen on third down. That to me that that's that's what kills us. We had a lot of drop balls uh, that could change a lot of those drives, um, and it was a defensive struggle. And um, um, you know it just came down to a few plays. You know we're throwing the ball in the end zone to win. You know. We fumbled the snap there, killing the clock. We could have had five seconds, you know, left instead of one second. But I'm not sure we could have got two plays. But you know, uh, you know, just like on, the, on the, their drive, I mean, um, I mean, it was, you know, third down and like three or something. And I just, you know, I had to, you know, I took a chance burning our timeouts. But you had, I had to do that, or they'd have run the clock all the way down. So we wind up, you know, holding them to a field goal, and, but they shouldn't have been down there. We should have. We we had. We have to. We have to play play better than that at those those situations. But I'm now proud of the effort. It's just a man. That was a gut wrenching, gut wrenching loss. That's one of the one of the that really, you know, we felt like that we, you know, just had some. I think the I think the block punt was a major deal. Um, there was a major field position deal. I think where there's a lot of hidden yardage, not fielding punts. You know, I, I think I think there are things in special teams that hurt us, uh, especially the block punt. I thought the block punt was a huge. Um, that's the second block punt we've had in uh, what you know what four weeks, and uh, uh, so that that one that one was tough. Coach, what do you make of the way um, your defense played without Darius in the first half, and and for the rest of the game as well? Very proud of them, uh, you know, not having our best player and really our, our inspirational player. Uh, I really came into the game, I was going to receive and take the ball, but the win was a factor. The win was a really kind of a, a big factor that, that for us. So uh, I just didn't want to get behind there, and I was really proud. We, we, we talked about, you know, getting through those, those two quarters. And, man, I'm really proud of Panay and really proud of Isaiah. He played every snap. Uh, in the first half, and um, and did a great job. I mean, we had a, we had a good plan what we were doing. Uh, obviously, we've been playing against you know really good people, 
And, and, and so that's, I think that had a lot to do with why we played better defensively is just, you know, uh, getting in our league and playing, you know, I, I think that that was encouraging to see our defensive front perform and, and to dominate the line of scrimmage. Uh -huh. But again, I mean, we, we should have not given up 17 points. We should have given up a lot, lot less than that. Should have, they should have had seven points. Uh, Coach, just, just out of curiosity, what made you guys go with the flexible and offense in those short yardage plays in the first quarter? Uh, I don't know. I mean, uh, we thought that, um, um, you know, um, we had some things that we thought would, would work that would give us an advantage. And, uh, um, you know, those are some of the things that we worked on. Um, the belly play out of that, I think, made like eight yards. Probably should have come back and ran it again and not trying to run the belly keep off of it. Uh, so that was just a small little package. Uh, uh, the biggest thing, I think, was – you know, um, you know, when you look at look at what we did, you know, uh, we rushed for 127 yards. We threw for 242. Uh, we're pretty balanced, you know, 39, 37, something like that. Um, you know, we took care of the football other than turning it over on the one fumble. I think we got two takeaways. We just didn't get anything out of the first takeaway. Um, I mean, um, the big to me, the game's all about. Four, four of 18 on third down. We, we just got to get better on third down. We got to convert those. Um, got to quit getting in such long yardage situations. But, you know, that, that team's a really, really good defense. I mean, we played a really, really good defense. So we knew that it was going to be a challenge. And um, we, we, you know, we just came up a few plays short. And, and that, that game, it basically came down to one play. So, but we went with that because we thought we had an advantage there. And, and, um, um, you know, that's why we did it. All right, Kyle, what are some of the emotions after uh, such a close loss like that, um, a game that you guys were in the entire time but um, didn't come out with? Uh, it hurts a lot, you know, because we fought so hard throughout the game, especially the defense. You know, I'm on the defensive side, so I think I can speak for all of us. You know, we, we really tried as hard as we could, but, you know, at the end of the day, it wasn't enough, so we just got to come back better next week. Nope. Uh, Kai, um, you know, um, there's a lot of, made about this game because of the kind of connections with Coach Tomey and the Brennans, um, and it's a trophy game. Uh, do you guys feel like San Jose State is a rival, especially considering last year they came here and they won, and now, now this one, like last one at Aloha Stadium, first one here for a conference opponent. Yeah. Does that kind of get the, the juices going? Yeah, I think it matters a lot, and, um, you know, they had a they had an out-of-pocket tweet last, last year, too, where they... They said something about us, so you know we 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 came back with we try to come back with a vengeance, you know, and um, yeah, for me personally, I've been here four years, so I think I played them four times. I think we're two and two with them, or my record so far with them. So, you know, it sucks to you know not come out with a win today, because I mean, in my opinion, I think we should have, but we just didn't play how we should have, you know, to come out with that W. So the defense was in the game majority of the time, and uh, you know what what improvements have to be made in order to get the win against New Mexico State. Can you say that again? Sorry, I didn't hear the last part. Oh, my bad. Uh, the defense, you know, stayed in the game, and uh, what needs to be improved just in order to get the win against New Mexico State. I think uh, we really gotta improve on the pass, the passing game. We did a really good job offense or the running wise, and so. Our front four, our line, and our, our linebackers have been doing a good job. So I think we just got to really lock up on the on the DB side. And um, you know, I'm not too sure exactly how much passing yards they, they had, but I know they had a good amount, and that's not acceptable. You know, so yeah, we got to work on that. Hey, Kai, I know there's no fans, but the band was there. Did that make a difference? Could you guys feel some of that energy? Did it make a difference when you're on defense? Yeah, uh, it really made a difference, honestly, because, you know, just hearing the band on kickoff that first time, it, it, it feels good. It feels like, you know, it's kind of like how it was before. But, yeah, you know, no fans is always going to feel a lot different, and the band's always going to help, but, you know, yeah, you miss the fans for sure. Um, Shevin, uh, you know, what's the emotion like in the locker room after dealing with a loss like that? 
I mean, uh, everyone's sick. I mean, uh, this was a close game. A good, a uh, good opponent uh, in our conference. Um, I mean, we needed this win, but I mean, it is what it is. Uh, we can't dwell on it. Uh, we just got to learn from it and bounce back. Full of drops that you know on both sides that probably would have changed momentum. Um, what was that like from your view, um, having to deal with that? I mean, it is what it is. Um, I told them I got their back still. I still believe in them. Um, I mean, I, like Coach Graham said, um, this was on all of us. It wasn't just the drops. It was, I mean, I, on a, I made a couple bad throws on third down. I wish I had back, but I mean, it is what it is. And uh, we just got to focus on our next opponent. And how did the team uh, continue to stay in it? And as far as uh, New Mexico State, you know, what needs to improve? I mean, uh, on our sideline, uh, everybody has each other's back. I mean, we're a team, we're a brotherhood, we're a family. So, I mean, no matter what the score is, we're still going to stick in and uh, we're going to fight through it the whole game. And um, I mean, we just got to get back in the film room, uh, watch today's game, um, just watch all the things that we missed. Um, I mean, my coach said it's, I mean, this game was based off three plays that we missed. Um, it was a close game, and I mean, uh, we just got to learn from it. Um, and especially in the red zone, uh, we got to capitalize. Uh, instead of two field goals, a uh, touchdown. So, I mean, that would have mattered. But I mean, uh, just got to watch film. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, next week.